another beautiful day at Hancock Golf Course. Okay, this is my favorite, one of my favorite holes, if not my favorite hole here, at the beautiful Hancock Golf Course in Austin, Texas. This is the uh, course built in 1896 that I play on. There's only uh, nine holes left of it, the front nine. Uh, the back nine are over here across the street where there's a strip ball with a 24-hour fitness and a HEB grocery store and a chiropractor. But this is number four, and this is a par four. Uh, 264 yards. This is one of those kind of deceptive holes where you think you can take your five or your six and possibly hit the green uh, in the uh, with your drive. But you got to remember that it might be 264 yards from this tee box to the middle of that green in the air, but on the ground it's it's about 30 more yards than that because you've got this huge dip down here and then it goes up. So a lot of people think that that uh, shortens a hole. I It adds yardage for me, so I use my driver. So let's see how I do on this. Sometime, I've driven this hole a couple times. I just want to get it close and keep it in the middle water over here to the left trees to the right let's see how i do that's a pretty good tee shot i hit it down the uh the right side there there's a little incline that comes, so if you hit your ball too far to the right, right on the edge of the fairway, it'll usually roll down, so... Climb down now. We're good. Let's uh, walk down to our ball now. Uh, the other day when I was out here on this hole, the reason why I love it so much is that there's a lot of wildlife that lives around this pond up here to the left. And there's a Cooper's hawk that lives in this woods and when you're out here in the afternoon during lunchtime or feeding time, it'll be up here circling around this pond, you know, circling up here. And there's cardinals and blue jays and squirrels and turtles. You know, it's part of the reason why I love golf so much is because it's an opportunity and an excuse, I guess you could say, for some to spend the day in a park in nature smelling the grass and feeling the breeze today in austin it's one of those beautiful spring days where it's maybe 73 degrees you know sun drifting between some you know cottony clouds a little breeze blowing so yeah We had a bit of a headwind. The wind is kind of turning around on this hole. So we're coming up on my ball. There was the tee way back there. Almost there. Coming up. On my shot. So, that was about 220, 210, and there is our next target. Okay, this is where we use the old Gary player. Hello, what's this? Yeah, shit happens. It's golf, man. Instead of a pitching wedge, I'm going to use my little six here. And I'm going to roll it up there because we got a big embankment up to the back. It's kind of like a bowl. And 
and all that back is a back edge that sends it right back into that pond over here just to my left so I'm gonna try to scoot it as close to the hole as I can by kind of rolling it around the rim of that bowl Sit, sit. All right. Pin high. We're on in two. <laughs> yeah. Not the easiest. That's a birdie, baby. Okay, we're here at my third shot on the uh, par five. Uh, sixth hole. T's down there, over on the other side of the sidewalk. I think they say it's 384 or something like that. Good tee shot for me is about 220, 240, anywhere in between there, which puts me kind of like right around here, depending on where the tee box is. It's usually back, so that's where I usually end up. And then the second shot is usually an easy eight up in the air, roll, 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 and now. I would say I'm about 100 and almost 200 yards out. Now, 154 probably, I'm going to guess. And so I'm going to use my 5 iron to give me the distance. And as it starts to come down, it should be hitting the green. Let's see how it goes. I've got a guy in front of me. I'm letting him play. Yeah, I bounced down the right side of that hill. See, even with my five, whacking it. So yeah, it's about 300 and something down to this turn. We turn down to the left. The uh, fairway starts to incline down towards the creek so that if you hit the ball too hard to try to get up on this plateau, which I'm still on. If you miss, the grass is a little shorter on this hill and it'll roll down into the creek. What I love about this creek is uh, has a family of turtles that live down here. Still might be a little too early to see a turtle, but there's usually a turtle down here. Jump in the water when you come across the bridge. I think there's one down there. But yeah, this is a beautiful little part of the course. So we cross the bridge over the creek to the green on number six. So, is that ball you have? Is your ball or is it your phone? it's just my phone. I'm just recording some of my swings so I can watch them later. Ah, there it is. Okay, just had a six on the par five. I shot a five on the par four, seven. And now we are at the par three, eight. Here, the fucking thing keeps falling. Again, <laughs> the beautiful, beautiful par three. 
eighth hole here at Hancock Golf Course in Austin, Texas. I'm not hung up on getting on the green on a three. I can chip it in from the edge. But I do want to get it up on there. So let's give it a nice sturdy. killed it is right on the edge of the green. On the par three, 144 supposedly, I hit a stiff pop. Par four, number nine. I think it's 320 off to the left behind those trees is the hole. Have a good second shot. I should be able to put it onto the green. Yeah, it's a beautiful course. Again, built in 1896. I, I often, when I'm playing it, think back to when it was 18 and the turn of the century before automobiles. Guys and guys that throw their clubs in the back of their buggy or on the back of their horse and trot out to Hancock and. It actually used to be the private, it used to be the Austin Country Club. And over here across the street, you might see that brick wall. That's a brick wall that's on the outside of a, kind of a manor house that used to be over there. That used to be the clubhouse, it used to be, I can't remember the guy's name who built the club, but it was his private course and then it became the Austin Country Club. And then it, uh, became a public course. They sold the uh, land that was the back nine to a strip mall that became an HEB, which is the grocery store down here yeah, in Austin, big chain. Yeah, Herbert E. Butts, there you go. That's one of the things I love, uh, hawks and nature that fly over you. There's a 24 hour fitness over there where the back nine used to be. Chiropractor. A Wendy's. <laughs> but uh, the front nine is still here. You play it twice, it's a good 18. There's my ball up there. Yeah, I love this course. Whew, that's aerobic, man. It's a big hill. Whoever says golf is not a sport, never played it. Scooch it up there onto that green. interrupt you there. Oh, you're good. There we go. On the green. Okay, second shot, so 
Still got about 20 yards here, 20 feet, excuse me. Let's see what we can do. That's what I just shot on that hole, five. Shot an 80 today, not too bad.